This is an 18 year old Lionel Messi and this is a 19 year old Cristiano Ronaldo. They're on the same team playing for Barcelona and we're going to see what happens if we reset their careers but they're forced to be teammates the whole time. If either of them transfer a club, for example, leave Barcelona, the other has to follow them wherever they go. Also, for the four World Cups that we will be doing, we're going to randomize their nation every single time and whichever one we land on, we are going to play for. And I'm going to simulate everything with Derby so we don't influence their careers at all. Let's go to the end of year one and see if they've broken into that strong Barcelona team. And immediately Champions League animation for Barcelona in their very first season. It's to be expected. Barcelona are a great club, but for Messi and Ronaldo, they have an opportunity to prove themselves immediately. And it looks like they're both playing. They're both 81 overall. They've both gone up plus three. We are going to have to scroll down pretty far to actually see them. Messi's played a game, a single game. Ronaldo, on the other hand, has had 37. Oh my God. Okay. He's the second top scorer at the club at 20 years old. He's a monster. Top assist is Rafinha playing at the right wing as well. But Ronaldo's getting loads of games. None in the Champions League and mainly in La Liga where he's doing brilliantly. Lionel Messi on the other hand though not doing so well. Actually kind of poor to be honest. One singular goal. One singular appearance. One singular assist for Messi. Ronaldo taking an early advantage in this competition but Ronaldo is a year older than Messi. I wonder if that'll aid him in his advantage. Anyway proceeding on we go to the calendar. It's RB Leipzig to play. In the first leg they drew two all so it does come down to this. Do you know what? Let's put Messi on the right. Ronaldo on the left and let them play. Messi's only played one game all year. It's Barcelona versus is RB Leipzig, Champions League semi-final, everything to play for. Let's see how they do. And here we go, kick off in the Champions League semi-final. Messi and Ronaldo are teammates. Can they provide and get to a Champions League final? Frankie de Jong on the ball already, holding off his man into Kessie. Kessie to Pedri. Barcelona moving well immediately. Lewandowski to de Jong, out to Lionel Messi on the right wing. Messi cuts inside, brilliant tackle. And now here come Leipzig, it's Sesko trying to go around the outside, sets back into the middle, back to Ram. Rom burst by the defender. Rom in on goal. Can he play anyone through? Brilliant cutback. Cut off well by Kunde. Rom did the right thing, but he did it improperly. And now here comes Messi down the right wing. Can he break through? Can he slip anyone in? Sets back a row hole. They're going to retain the ball just like Barcelona do well. Messi on the ball again. Cutting down the wing into De Jong. De Jong into Lewandowski. Into Pedri. Chance for Barcelona. Good block early from Leipzig. End to end already. Pedri into Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo with a chance. Brilliant finish from the Portuguese winger. Cristiano Ronaldo, number 31 for Barcelona, sends his team possibly into a Champions League final. Brilliant finish from the winger and Barcelona are in the lead. Lewandowski on the ball, slipping into Lionel Messi. Messi to Pedri. Big chance for Pedri. Pedri makes it two. Lionel Messi sets him through. Messi gets himself an assist. Pedri buries the chance. Timo Werner for Leipzig cutting inside. Can they get a comeback? Dani Olmo into Sesco. Chance for Sesco. Brilliant finish finish for Leipzig and they're back in this game. I thought this game was over. I thought Barcelona would score two or three more. I'm proven wrong. Leipzig are still in this game. The comeback is real and that's half time already. What a half of football it's been. Three goals scored. Brilliant football played. Barcelona took a two goal lead but Leipzig have been fighting back well. They've already scored one. They may have the momentum at their backs and they'll favor themselves to score again. 4-3 on aggregate. 2-1 tonight at half time. Even better, says them. Almost going to whip it in. Is there anyone at the back post? Winners on the head. Second ball with a chance. There we go. Another goal for Leipzig. This is all level again. Sesco with the finish. And we're back to level pegging. Somebody has to step up and be a hero in this game. Who is it going to be? A Leipzig player or a Barcelona player? Could it be Ronaldo or Messi? Javi Simons, a very creative player. Can he find a breakthrough across this Barcelona defense? Brilliant pass, Rabona to Sesco! Oh, that could be the dagger. Sesco with an excellent finish. And RB Leipzig with the lead again. 5-4 in aggregate after being 2-0 down on the night. A Ronaldo goal and a Messi assist. It looks like RB Leipzig are going to a Champions League final. That's ridiculous. Xavi Simons with a Rabona assist. And Sesco with a brilliant near post finish. Ronaldo and Messi may have just been sunk in their first professional season. Five shots for Sesco, one for Lewandowski. Kind of tells the tale of the night. Great ball in. Lewandowski with a header, no good. Ronaldo! Good save. God, Barcelona are getting close, but are they going to get close enough. Are they going to be able to steal this game? Frankie de Jong whips it in onto Ronaldo's head with a header. Into Lewandowski! What a finish! Robert Lewandowski shows the young kids how it's done. Three all on the night. Five all on aggregate. And it looks like we're going to extra time. Incredible scenes here. Brilliant finish from Lewandowski. And we're going to extra time. A Sesco hat trick for Leipzig and three different goal scorers for Barcelona. And ultimately that has led us here. Five all on aggregate. Everything to play for. The teams are incredibly evenly matched. It's been a brilliant game. Leipzig still have a corner though. They're still up the pitch. Great ball into the box. Anyone going to win it? Yes, they are, but it's not going to work out. And we are going to extra time. Okay, we can take a moment to breathe now. We can settle ourselves for the next 30 minutes of football. Simons has a one-on-two here. If he can get round, he tries to get round. He keeps the ball. Xavi Simons on a great run. 
Javi Simon sits back Baumgartner into Werner. Werner with a shot! Timo Werner of all people. It had to be Timo Werner. RB Leipzig 4-3 up on the night. What a game of football. And Timo Werner may have just sunk Barcelona. And that is going to be it. 4-3 on the night to Leipzig. 5-6 on aggregate. Barcelona's Champions League dream is over. After the most crazy game of football and they have ever seen. Ridiculous stuff. But Leipzig prevail. Okay, moving our attention away from the Champions League and into La Liga, of course. We have zero trophies so far, as far as I'm aware. Anyway, 14 points off Real Madrid. That's not good enough, but we did win the Supercoppa, so that counts as one trophy and that means one transfer wheel spin. So to make sure our players actually move around clubs and that they don't end up staying at Barcelona forever, I've invented this wheel. It's mine. I've trademarked it. There's a one in five chance of them getting shipped off to any of the biggest clubs in Europe. And since we won one trophy, we get to spin this wheel once. I'm actually Ronaldo going anywhere. Oh, on the first season. It's going to be close. No, they're not going to go anywhere. They're going to stay at Barcelona. No Champions League for Barcelona this time around, but they do have Real Madrid second last game of the season. So if they're contending, we will know about it. Lionel Messi's up to an 84 overall. Ronaldo's up to an 83. Ronaldo with 26 and 1, but Messi with 19 and 14. So Messi with 33 all total. Ronaldo with 27, but Ronaldo with the top score as well. Lionel Messi top assists though. They're working actually really well together as you kind of expect. And Barcelona are seven points clear at the top of La Liga. Brilliant result for them. They didn't win the Supercopa though. They lost on pens to Real, but they did win the Copa de España in another El Clasico. Brilliant. Champions League, they're not there. City, Bayern, Inter, and Arsenal. All teams on the wheel. So it'll be really interesting to see where they go if they do get a transfer. But since they've won one trophy and they're about to win a second, they would have two wheel spins. Let's enter this Real Madrid game and see what situation they're in. Against Vallecano, they end up winning 3-0. And then here we go, Bilbao. Can they get a win? A 1-0 win. That might be enough. And there we go. With three games to go, Barcelona are seven points clear. You know what that means. If they win this next game, game against Real Madrid. They win the league title in the Bernabeu. Ridiculous stuff. That's the Real Madrid team and the Barcelona team looks like this. A ridiculously strong side. Lewandowski, however, actually isn't playing. Colin Moani is, so they signed him. Romeo's not playing at CDM. Joshua Kimmich is. That's an interesting signing. Andy Robertson's playing at left back. Yeah, this team is ridiculous. And it's all thanks to this front three. What a front three, by the way. And they are going to try and win the league against Real Madrid. Here we go. And it's a fine day in the Bernabeu, but it's as simple as this. If Barcelona win, they win the league in the Bernabeu about against Real Madrid. Real Madrid have made some moves. They got rid of Vinicius, I think, and they've signed Lukaku, which is ridiculous. But Barcelona have Ronaldo and Messi, young Ronaldo and Messi, and they're about to lead them to a La Liga title if they can win this game. And here we go. Ronaldo playing against the club he is most famous for playing for, and El Clasico, where Ronaldo and Messi are playing for the same team. A little bit sacrilegious, but here we are. One of the most interesting experiments I think I've ever done. If we put them both on the same team, same scenario, same setting, who would be better? Let's find out. Robertson on the ball into Cristiano Ronaldo. Araujo to Robertson. Robertson to Benacer. Benacer to Joshua Kimmich. Can Barcelona find anything here? Great ball into the box. Messi's not exactly going to win a header though. And Courtois picks it up. Plazek for Real Madrid. Ran the outside of Andy Robertson. Brilliant move. Oh, cuts through him like he's not even there. Says Romelu Lukaku. And that's a brilliant finish from the Belgium striker. Converts excellently. Beats Ter Stegen. And Real Madrid go 1-0 up in the El Clasico. In the title decider. The bout to end all bouts. Real Madrid take a striking lead. Brilliant move down the right-hand side. And despite Barcelona's constant pressure on the Real Madrid defense. Los Blancos strike first in the Clasico. And now Barcelona must reply. They have the firepower too. They literally have Messi and Ronaldo on the same team, but they're going to need to do it in the next 45 minutes. Brian Diaz into Garcia. Real Madrid moving well. Sets back Brian Diaz. Diaz, brilliant pass. Lukaku, excellent finish once again. Ter Stegen beaten twice. Lukaku with the acrobatics and Real Madrid with a 2-0 lead in the Clasico. The celebrations have been spoiled in the Bernabeu by Los Blancos. Lukaku makes no mistake and Real Madrid double their advantage and now Barcelona need to move quickly half an hour to go and these games move quickly Gundogan great pass to Ronaldo can they reply immediately Ronaldo with a chance brilliant finish Ronaldo buries his opportunity in the burn about the stadium where he has so many memories and Ronaldo brings Barcelona back to within one Valverde for Real Madrid playing out to Lukaku into Chuameni. oh they have space here does Real Madrid Chuameni is angry he is running straight through the middle he's aggressive into Jude Bellingham can he break Barcelona hurts oh what a finish what a goal from Real Madrid. They didn't even have a striker for that. And Real Madrid will win the El Clasico. They will maintain their title hopes. It is still alive for Real Madrid. They could still win the title. Barcelona won't win it in the Bernabeu. They still have a chance to win it elsewhere. But today is Real Madrid's day. And there we have it. The game is over. 3-1 to Real Madrid despite getting a red card. Bellingham ends the game. Ice is it cold. Real Madrid win on the day. 
but can Barcelona close out this La Liga season? They couldn't do it against Real Madrid in the Bernabeu. Can they do it elsewhere? Here we go. Barcelona versus Betis. Can they close it out when they need to? Oh no, Betis win. Did Real Madrid win? They drew. Okay, Barcelona are four points clear. Thank God. It's over. The league season's over. Barcelona are going to be champions despite having a horrific end to the season. Sim straight through this last Palmas game. They won 4-2. Okay, they ended on a high. Brilliant. 91 points. Real Madrid lost on the last day as well. Actually finished third in the league. Atleti finished second and Barcelona finished top. We have two wheel spins. Will we get a transfer for Messi and Ronaldo or will they both stay at Barcelona for future seasons? Here we go. Wheel spin one. This one can be for the La Liga title. Are they going to go? No, they're not. And we spin again. Are they going to get shipped off? No, they're not. They're going to stay in Barcelona. But we do have one more wheel to spin. And that wheel is this one. These are some of the best national teams in all of FIFA and I'm about to spin this wheel. Wherever it lands, Messi and Ronaldo will play for in the 2026 World Cup. It's going to be barely, just barely, Italy. They're going to be Italian players for 2026. We remove them from the wheel. They will not play for Italy after 2026 again. And there we go. Almost as if it's magic. Messi and Ronaldo are both Italian now. But we're in 2025. We still have one more year to sim out before we get to the World Cup. Champions League again for Messi and Ronaldo at Barcelona twice in three seasons. That's pretty good going. Especially when you consider that they're not even the best players on the team yet. They're 86 and 87 rated. So they still have a lot of growth to go. I mean, they have like 98 potentials. So they're pretty good. Messi this season, 22 and 8. Ronaldo, 42 and 13. Oh my God. And they're still second in La Liga. Oh my God, that is bleak. Messi and Ronaldo in the Champions League semi-final. They're a lot better now than they were before though. They're turning into men. Let's fix this Barcelona team. Ronaldo has a red. Oh, that is heartbreaking. Okay, Ferran Torres has to start on the left. It's just Lionel Messi, which is a bit of a shame, but Ronaldo will be back for the final if they make it. And here we are. Xavi shakes hands with Jurgen Klopp as Barcelona prepare to take on the English Giants. Liverpool versus Barcelona. And who's that playing for Liverpool? Pedri. Barcelona wonder kid playing for Liverpool. How is he going to fare coming back home to play against Barcelona? Here we go. Barcelona starting fast. It's Jules Koundé, by the way, into Kaku. Kaku with the first chance. Oh my God, Liverpool have already scored. Oh, how does this happen? Feels like it's been like two seconds. It's Kaku with the brilliant finish and Liverpool take the lead. They have Jules Koundé and Pedri, both ex-Barcelona players, coming back to haunt us. Lavia into Lewandowski. Can he get a shot off? Yes, he does. Good save from Alisson. Barcelona playing a bit better now. Lewandowski to Benacer with a shot. Good block. And that's going to be it. Half time in this game. 1-0 to Liverpool. 45 minutes to go. Ronaldo red carded. They're kind of done with him at this moment. They need a goal. Can it come from Lionel Messi? Farron Torres into Lewandowski through the space. Lewandowski with a chance. Brilliant finish from the Polish striker. The tie is level again. And once more, when Barcelona need a hero in the Champions League to bring them back into the game, Lewandowski delivers. one all on the night. 3 all in the tie. Araujo cutting inside. Great pass to Kaku. Big chance for Liverpool. Kaku with the finish. Massive moment in this game. 2-1 to Liverpool. Kaku runs to his manager and that might be it for Barcelona again. Surely not another semi-final loss. 10 minutes left for Barcelona to save their season. Ridiculous. Kaku with another finish. Barcelona on the back foot again. Lionel Messi on the ball. What can he do? What can he do to save Barcelona? His club. They've been passing around the back for the last five minutes and now they try to slip through Ferran Torres. They mess up the pass but Ferran Torres gets it. It's Lewandowski. Big save from Alisson. Ball still up on the end of the pitch. Gundogan tries to get it. He does. They ended the game there. They blew the whistle while they were in the Liverpool box. Are you serious? Liverpool win 2-1 on the night. They end up winning 4-3 on aggregate. What a game of football that was. Liverpool and Koku with the winner. 2-1 to Liverpool. They progress to the Champions League final. Barcelona once again falling short at the semi-final. This hurdle just seems to trip them up. Barcelona 13 points off Real Madrid in La Liga playing 34 games. They also lost the Supercopa but they won the Copa de España. That's a wheel spin there but of course we know what the Champions League result. Heartbreaking. With regards to stats Lionel Messi with 23 and 8 and Ronaldo with a ridiculous 42 and 14. But now it's 2026, which means we have the World Cup. Let's take the Italy job and see what the Italian team looks like in the current state. This is what it looks like. Ronaldo on the left and Berardi on the right. Where's Messi? Messi's here, but he's tired. But I'm going to play him anyway because I don't care. And this is their group. Norway, Czech Republic and Argentina. Okay, Messi's old nation, of course. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are both there. The two best Italian attackers for a year. And then they're changing again. And here we go. Norway in the first game, the 4-2 Italian win. 
win. Czech Republic in the second is a 3-0 Italian win. And now Argentina on the 30th. What a start for Italy in the World Cup. This is proof that they can do damage in this tournament. Here we go. Quick sim this game. And it's a two-all draw. Seven from nine for Italy. That's really good. Hungary in the round of 16. Okay, that's an easy tie for Italy. But just because it's an easy tie does not mean it's a surefire pass into the quarterfinals. Here we go. Italy versus Hungary. Can we close out? A 3-0 win. Ronaldo with a brace and Bastoni with the first of the three goals. Italy go through fairly comfortably against Hungary. And it's going to be Norway in the quarterfinals. Okay. Italy versus Norway. 3-0 Italy win again. Italy are headed for a World Cup semi-final. And it's the Czech Republic. Okay. And this should be a win for Italy. Can they get to a World Cup final on penalties? They do. Messi and Ronaldo both miss, but it doesn't matter. Italy still somehow win. Czech Republic do worse. And Italy are in a World Cup final. It's Ronaldo and Messi in the World Cup final. It's going to be France. USA made the whole way to the semis, but it's going to be France, Italy in the World Cup final. Kylian Mbappe versus Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Their striker does have a red card for the final. Thank God Messi and Ronaldo don't. We can start Raspadori and we can watch history be made. And just like that, the stage is set. France versus Italy for the biggest prize in world football. But Italy have Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi also on their side. Kind of unfair, but that's the simulation that we're doing. They are teammates in every sense of the word, nationally identical, and this is their opportunity to win the biggest prize in world football at the first time of asking. France versus Italy in the World Cup final. No bigger stage than this. The stakes could not be higher. When you feel like nothing is happening is when France is at their most dangerous. And here we go. Mbappe to Nkunku. They're brewing well here. Backed out to Dembele. France moved the ball so well when they play. It's so great to watch. Dembele cuts by one to Mbappe. Brilliant block. Italy just barely keeping up with the French speed. Verratti coming forward. Brilliant pass to Skamaka. Skamaka with the first shot of the game. Good save from Magnan. Italy getting shots on target. This game is end to end. Chances for both teams. And Skamaka with the first shot on target for Italy. Mancini's going to pick it up. Out to Barea. They're still going Italy. Into Messi. 52nd minute now. Seven minutes of out of time. Barea chips it back. That's going to be halftime, surely. And yes, it is. Nil-nil so far in the World Cup final. But it's been a brilliant nil-nil so far. Very intense. Who can close out these last 45 minutes? Who can cement themselves into the history books as world champions? No bigger trophy than this. Ronaldo's never won it in real life. Jules Koundé on the ball now for France. Messi's ex-teammate and Ronaldo's ex-teammate as well. Great ball into the box. And Mbappe with a header! Oh, just wide of the post. I thought that was in. Verratti is on the ball versus Canate, and everyone knows who's going to win that header. Lorient skips by. Wow, what a move from Lorient. Still on the ball. Lorient nope. with the shot. Big save from Donnarumma. Dembele charging forward. France are just running at them so well. And Dembele still going. What a challenge. Oh my goodness. Italy come away with the ball. Do they have a counter attack here? Up to Cristiano Ronaldo. This looks good for Italy. Ronaldo cuts inside to Scamacca. Scamacca with the shot. What a tackle by Hernandez. Scamacca into Messi. Messi goes around the outside of Hernandez like he's not even there. Canate now covering off Messi. Messi. Messi cuts inside. Messi into Di Lorenzo. Di Lorenzo to Verratti. Verratti into Barea with the shot. Barea with the finish. What a finish from the Italian midfielder. And they're winning in the World Cup final. 73rd minute. They took their time to get here. But when they got the chance, they put it into the near post. Nicolo Barea with a brilliant finish. And Italy, with Messi and Ronaldo, are winning the World Cup final. And if they can win in 2026, what about like 2030, 2034 and 2038? They're the other three World Cups that they'll be able to participate in. After that, they'll just be two of them regressed. Can they stay in the lead though? Mbappe with the chance! ridiculous. Mbappe doesn't often miss those. You know, you've played FIFA. Mbappe doesn't miss those chances very often. Wow, what a let off for Italy. That could be the moment that wins them the World Cup, not even their own goal. Mbappe missing other circumstances like that. France cutting it so fine. They are really good, but Ronaldo might have a chance here. He's running through on Saliba. Ronaldo sets back Barea. Barea back to Ronaldo. Ronaldo, oh, brilliant tackle from Saliba, but still on for Ronaldo. Great ball into the box. Messi! Good save, seconds! Oh, Magnan gathers. Oh, both teams coming so close. Almost a Messi goal from a Ronaldo assist there. There's only two minutes left. Into Scamacca. Oh, almost finds Messi. Is there time for France? No, there's not. Italy are going to be world champions. A 1-0 win in the final. That Barea goal enough to seal the win. And Italy, practically flawless throughout this whole tournament. They drew one game and won the rest. Our world champions, the biggest trophy ever created, is now in Ronaldo and Messi's hands. Messi won it in real life, Ronaldo hasn't, but when they are teammates, when their powers are joined together, they win it the first time of asking, as expected. So now the question is, not if, but how many can they win as a partnership? We will answer that question throughout the rest of this simulation. And they also haven't won the Champions League, so there's that to concern about. Not only have they got three more World Cups to play, but they still haven't even won the Champions League. Not even that. They haven't even made the final. Winning the World Cup is amazing. Of course it is. It's the biggest trophy of all, but it's for your country. And for your club, the best is 
the Champions League and they haven't even made the final yet. So let's see if they can do that. Who will lift the 2026 Ballon d'Or? There is three Man City players there and Vinicius. No sign of Messi, no sign of Ronaldo, no Barcelona players there at all. So we don't really care who wins it. It's going to be Haaland or Vinicius anyway. But my simple question is, if they can't even get through the semi-final, what makes them think that they can beat the likes of Man City and Real Madrid when they're getting Ballon d'Or nominees and we at Barcelona aren't? Back at Barcelona and they are not in the Champions League. They got knocked out in the round of 16 to Manchester City. There you go. 6-1 on aggregate to the Ballon d'Or nominees. Here is Messi and Ronaldo though. Messi is 89 overall. Ronaldo 88. Messi 10 and 11. That's terrifically bad. Ronaldo though doing really well. 39 contributions in 43 games. Ridiculous stuff from him. Despite Messi being higher rated, he's just not doing that well for some reason. I don't really know. I forgot to spin the wheel last year as well. I think they won one trophy. So we need to add that onto this year. Additionally, standings wise, they are third in La Liga. Not going to win any titles, I don't think. No Super Copa. Copa de España goes Real Madrid's way as well. Champions League, Juve, Arsenal, PSG and Real Sociedad. Spanish team there, but it's not Barcelona. So let's enter the last day of the season. Mallorca is a loss. Real Madrid though. Oh my God, a 4-3 loss. What a game of football that was. They also lost to Valladolid and they drew with Celta Vigo. So one point from the last, what, four games? That's horrific. Two points from the last five. Can they get a result against a not that good Girona team? It's Messi and Ronaldo versus the world as a one-all draw. Not very good. That kind of makes me a bit nervous. Did they qualify for Champions League this season? Oh my God, they're going to play Europa League next year. We do have a wheel spin from last year though. So let's get that in. Here we go. Quick spin of the wheel. Where are we going to end up? Still at Barcelona. Wow. Okay. I'll dare that we do actually get a move away by this point, but I guess we're just going against the odds. Let's stay at Barcelona for another season and see if they do in the Europa League. Yay. Ballon d'Or nominees are through the door. Is Messi and Ronaldo going to be there? No, they're not. Ferran Torres is there, but Messi and Ronaldo are not there yet. But they will be. They will be there very, very soon. They're going to be good enough. This season might be a breakthrough season for Lionel Messi in terms of statistics. Ronaldo's already dominating, but I'm hoping this year both of them can definitely break 90 overall and push for that Ballon d'Or next year. And just like I hoped, they're the two best players at Barcelona, Cristiano Ronaldo and Messi, 94 overall. Ronaldo stats for the year, 32 and 11. Mega for him. But what about Messi? Oh, still not right. Still fine though, I suppose. But Ronaldo's definitely dominating the stats. And in La Liga, they're top by five points. Looking good for that La Liga title. What about the Copa de España? Oh, they won it. Okay, so that's two possible trophies. One for La Liga, one for the Copa de España. None for the Champions League again. They got knocked out. Oh, they didn't get knocked out. They're in the Europa League and they got knocked out in the quarters by Villarreal. So they win La Liga possibly, but get knocked out by a Spanish team in Europe. Brilliant. Okay, let's see if they can close out the La Liga season. They already have one wheel spin. Let's see if they can get another. A draw against Sevilla is not ideal, but they do beat Cadiz. Oviedo is also a draw. I'm getting a bit nervous now. They lose to Espanyol and now I'm scared. Are they top of La Liga? Yes. Top by four points. They won La Liga. Okay, good. We have four wheel spins. Do they win the last game? Yes, they do. A 2-1 win. Here we go. First wheel spin. Do we get any luck? No. Just as usual. Just my luck. To be honest, my luck on these wheels are horrendous. Someone's got to add up every single time I spun this wheel because there's no way 20% of them has landed on the transfer segment. I'm just so unlucky. Anyway, okay, okay, here we go. Oh, come on, stop, stop, stop. Yeah, that's gonna be a transfer, right? Come on, okay, finally, we get a transfer. Where are we going? And here we go, the wheel of the biggest clubs in Europe. Where are we gonna end up next season? Come on, the tension's killing me. Oh my God, is that Real Madrid? Is that Real Madrid? Oh my God, what are the odds of that? Okay, we're gonna go to Real Madrid. That is incredible. So we've just spent loads of time at the club that Messi's most famous for playing for. Now we're gonna go to the club that Ronaldo's most famous for playing for. <laughs> Let's send them to Real Madrid. Okay. Who's a golden boot winner in La Liga? It was Ronaldo. No shockers. 23 goals in the season. 259 in transfer value. And he's going to Real Madrid to be there with his club once again. And Cristiano Ronaldo is now a Real Madrid player. Don't worry about the fact that they're free agents either. I had to release them to sign them back. I'll fix their potential and we'll send them into this next season. Ballon d'Or winners announced. Is it Ronaldo or Messi? It is Cristiano Ronaldo. The statistical god that he is, is a Real Madrid Ballon d'Or winner. Just like he did in real life, he's done it again in simulation. When he's Messi's teammate, he still wins the Ballon d'Or. So counter on the screen. That's one for Ronaldo and zero for Messi. Let's track how many they win throughout their careers. Real Madrid are in the Champions League. They have a one-all draw with Manchester City. This is the third semi-final that Messi and Ronaldo have got to together. But this time they're with Real Madrid. A whole different ball game. Champions League pedigree upon Champions League pedigree. And they have to go against the newcomers, Manchester City. And here is Messi and Ronaldo. Messi is 95 rated. Ronaldo 98. Much better. But Messi actually statistically better. I made them both strikers just to make sure they both play. They play a 4 one 2 one 2 narrow. No wingers. So I made them both strikers. It makes sense. Vinicius is here as well. Backing up the boys. He's only had five appearances though. Kind of embarrassing. Anyway, Messi showing statistical dominance. But Ronaldo scooping the Ballon d'Or. Interesting. What about in La Liga? Real Madrid are top 
by six points over Barcelona. Messi and Ronaldo's old team. Ridiculous, but that one sentence. They won that Supercopa as well. No Copa de España, though. They got knocked out in the quarters by Almeria. That's ridiculous. And if Real Madrid get past Man City, it'll be Napoli or Spurs in the Champions League final. And this is the Man City team. Foden, Haaland, Rodrigo up front is insane. And that defense is good as well. Balde, ex teammate of our two superstars. And Bastoni, who won the World Cup with Ronaldo and Messi. Will it be enough? Will Ronaldo and Messi get themselves into the Champions League final? Here we go. And there is Rodrigo left Real Madrid to join Man City as he always seems to do. Can we get revenge on him? Manchester City versus Real Madrid in the Bernabeu under the lights. It doesn't get much bigger than this. As a matter of fact, there's not many things that are bigger. World Cup final and a Champions League final. So it comes down to the Champions League to complete their trophy cabinet. Into Barea already to Haaland and Man City are 1-0 up. Just like that. That was way too quick. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh my God. That's a whole different pace that they're playing at. They just ran down the wing, played it into Barea. Barea with a smart reverse pass. Haaland's not going to miss a chance like that. 1-0 to Man City. 2 one on aggregate. Real Madrid are going to have to come back. But they have literally Messi and Ronaldo, who just won the Ballon d'Or as well. So they're going to be really good. Messi, number 11. Ronaldo, number 19. I'll have to change Ronaldo to number 7. Well, actually, I won't. Because Vinicius had it before Ronaldo got to the club at this point. So I'll just leave it with Vinicius. Anyway, Joshua Kimmich from Manchester City. Ex-Barcelona player. Ex-teammate of Messi and Ronaldo's. Into Rodrigo. Rodrigo with a shot. Good block. Man City are so good. Already getting chances. They've converted one. Can they convert another? A two-goal early lead would be amazing for them. Into Rodrigo. Chance for no. Rodrigo. Big save from Courtois. Barea cutting in from the corner. It's still Barea. Into Frankie de Jong. Oh my God, on the edge of the box. What a goal. Frankie de Jong buries the chance. And it's 2-0 to Manchester City. A lot of Messi and Ronaldo's ex-teammates playing for Manchester City. Frankie de Jong being one of them. And he takes the chance. Threads the needle through the defense. Ronaldo tries to block. Doesn't quite get a toe in. And Frankie de Jong buries the opportunity. 2-0 already to Manchester City. And you get the feeling that City could run away with this tonight. Despite tying the first leg one all. Manchester City showing their dominance over here in the Bernabeu. Messi and Ronaldo really do have to show up now. Here comes Lionel Messi taking on Mbete. Can he get around the outside of the defense? Lionel Messi still going. Messi versus Mbete. Cuts inside. Messi sends back Ronaldo to Messi. Messi. Ah, oh, they don't work together very well in that situation. Ronaldo almost tripped up Messi there a little bit. And the ball went straight through to Ederson. Real Madrid playing risky at the back. Skins Haaland there, though. That was really nice. And we're going to go to halftime. 2-0 to Man City. And by far, they have been the better team. They are a complete different level. I haven't seen a team playing as good football as them. Even in the World Cup final, France and Italy were not as good as Man City are in this game. They are so good. So let's see. Going into the second half, if Ronaldo and Messi can somehow come back against the talent that Man City have. Erling Haaland cutting in beautifully for Manchester City. Great block from Eder Militao. Haaland tries to win it back and ends up winning a corner. That's another chance squandered for Manchester City. They're just doing so well in this game. Real Madrid aren't even getting a sniff. There was that one Messi opportunity where he dragged it back. Good header. Good save from Courtois. Haaland's going to win it. Haaland makes it three. Haaland makes it three. And this seems slightly insurmountable for Real Madrid at the moment. We'll keep watching. Of course we will. But Erling Haaland proves why he is better than Ronaldo and Messi. Ronaldo may have won the Ballon d'Or, but Haaland is hot on their tails. Kai Havertz now on the ball. Into Ronaldo. Into Messi. Here come Real Madrid. Lionel Messi back to Cristiano Ronaldo. Brilliant tackle from the Man City defender. I think that was Bastoni. Oh, they've given a free kick for that. I don't know why. Valverde is over it. Valverde into the wall. Brilliant. Oh, no, they haven't. Havertz wins it back into Ronaldo. Ronaldo on the edge of the box. Into Messi. Messi. Oh, Ronaldo tries to play into Messi. Messi just gets shrouded in players, though. Great pass to Lionel Messi, though. They're moving well now. Messi coming forward for Real Madrid. Great ball into the box. Ronaldo. It's 3-1. There's 20 minutes to go. Ronaldo scores off a Messi cross, and it's 3-1. The chemistry is definitely getting better. Not fully there yet, though, because they're not winning games, but they are scoring and assisting together, which is a great sign. The Messi cross, the Ronaldo finish, 3-1 on the night. Real need two. They couldn't possibly do it, could they? De Jong with brilliant footwork into Rodrigo. Rodrigo sets back Erling Haaland. Brilliant save from Courtois to keep his side in the game. Maybe too little too late, but it's essential to keep your standards high, and Courtois proves that. Okay, that was a horrific goal kick. Never mind, his standards are through the floor. This game is over. They're even taking Haaland off. Ridiculous stuff from Manchester City. They dominate this Champions League semi-final second leg, and there we go. They are going to the Champions League final. Whenever this game decides to end, I don't know. It doesn't matter. The ball's not going to end up up the other side of the pitch anyway. Rodrigo with a shot is blocked. Ricky passes it and there we go. Messi and Ronaldo lose three Champions League semi-finals without winning a single one. They haven't even got to a final yet. Never mind won it. This journey is still going, but I guarantee you it will end. It surely must end. They are too good to never win the Champions League, aren't they? So they won La Liga and they won the Supercopa, so that is two wheel spins. First wheel spin. Are they getting a transfer? No. And the second wheel spin. Here we 
go. Are they going to move away from Real Madrid? A story Champions League club. They're not. They're going to stay in Real Madrid. I think that's probably best. It's their best chance to win the Champions League. But we still have a wheel spin left to go. You may be thinking, they only won two trophies. How do they have a wheel spin? Well, it's 2029. So the World Cup's on next year. So we need to spin the wheel. That's how it works. Let's spin the wheel. Where are they going to end up? They could not end up in Italy again. And they are going to end up at, is that Argentina? Oh, oh, okay. So we're actually going to one of the nations that these players are from. Of course, Lionel Messi, Argentinian. He's going back to Argentina. But this time, Ronaldo's coming with him. And there we go. Ronaldo is Argentinian and Messi is as well. Let's go back next year and see how they do. Final door nominees are through the door. Ronaldo's already won it. And Messi is nominated as well. Haaland, the enemy. And Rodrigo, ex-Real Madrid player, all nominated. Here we go. This is the Ballon d'Or we all wanted. It's Haaland versus Messi versus Ronaldo. Who's going to win the Ballon d'Or? Messi, Ronaldo, or Haaland? It's Ronaldo. Two years in a row for Cristiano Ronaldo. The now Argentinian footballer is a two-time Ballon d'Or winner. Ronaldo 2, Messi 0. Ronaldo's 99 and Messi is 98 overall. Ronaldo with 20 and 7. But Messi, 33 and 15. He's making a statistical comeback. In the standings, they are six points clear with a game in hand over Atletico. But are they in the Champions League? Yes! And they have Barcelona. Oh my God. A 3-1 win in the first leg. They are perfectly set up to go to a Champions League final. It is about time. I'm going to jump into this game in about the 70th minute when they should be on their way to glory. Jumping in. 3-2 on the night. 6-3 in aggregate. A ridiculous pair of games. But it looks like Real Madrid will be going to a Champions League final. Barcelona need three in like 17 minutes. That is not going to happen. Especially not at the Bernabeu. I think the curse is over. Three semi-final losses in a row. And finally, they're making it through to the fabled Champions League final, which we will watch in its entirety. This game's not over, though. Colin Wani attacking really well here down the left-hand side for Barcelona. Cuts inside. Sets in Estanis. Estanis with a shot. Estanis scores. Is there time? Surely not. Surely not. This will be the biggest bottle job ever. Simply ever. No way. Barcelona are going to run out of time. Real Madrid will not have time to bottle this. Messi skins his opponents. Lionel Messi. Game over. They're going to a Champions League final. 7-4 on aggregate. Messi with a beautiful goal to round it off. And Real Madrid. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi as teammates playing for Real Madrid after three semi-final Champions League losses. And so much heartache. So much effort gone into this. The pair of them have worked so hard and they have done it when it matters against Barcelona in an El Clasico series in the Champions League. Real Madrid do enough. Messi with 10 goals in 12 matches in the Champions League as well, by the way. Ridiculous statistical stuff from him. Barcelona come forward again. Estanis saved by Courtois. Doesn't really matter. There's no stakes on this whatsoever. Game over. Seven and a half minutes into added time. Ronaldo and Messi are finally Champions League finalists. Real Madrid are once again in the promised land. Oh my God. It's been so long and it should not have taken this long. They won the World Cup on their first attempt and finally they've made the Champions League final. Here we go. Against their old club, they do it. Who are they going to have in the final? Please, please be Man City. PSG in the Champions League final. I could not ask for a better game than that. They beat France in the World Cup final. Can they beat the best French team in the Champions League final? Kylian Mbappe in a final once again. Can he be beaten? Can Messi and Ronaldo as teammates win the Champions League? This is the PSG team. Ferran Torres and old teammates of theirs, as well as a couple of other players that they've played with and against. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi in the biggest game in club football. Let's see if they can deliver. In the Estadio de SL Benfica. PSG versus Real Madrid. Champions League glory awaits. It's Paris versus Madrid in the biggest game of all. The first time Messi and Ronaldo have been here. Can they convert this opportunity into history for their careers? The best players on the planet versus the best players on the planet. Can Ronaldo and Messi finally win themselves the Champions League? They're old enough. They're good enough. They're strong enough. But on the day, do they have enough? Let's go. Messi takes it off the toe and here comes Lionel Messi attacking down the right wing. Too much pace for Jimenez. Messi's gone. Messi's going to go down the byline. Messi swings it in. Ronaldo doesn't shoot. Drags it back. Havertz is a chance, shoots, doesn't score. Havertz, no, it's cleared. Still one. Havertz got it, flicks it up, sets it into Mendes. Mendes into Havertz, back to Mendes, into Ronaldo. Ronaldo to Lionel Messi. They're linking up well. Back to Ronaldo, back to Messi. Excellent play. And Lionel Messi scores the opening goal of the Champions League final. They have reached full chemistry. They are in tandem with one another. The same wavelength of greatness. Messi with the goal, Ronaldo with the assist, and Real Madrid with the lead in the Champions League final. Ruiz into Mbappe. Mbappe no. replies. Brilliant save from Stevens, keeping Real Madrid alive. Mbappe doesn't often miss chances like those. That's an excellent stop. And here comes Ronaldo into Lionel Messi. They're passing. They're playing brilliantly. Out to Kai Havertz. Havertz to Ronaldo. So fluid. Back to Kai Havertz. This is amazing football. Havertz on the ball, cutting inside. Now in the PSG box. Can he send anyone back? Sertimir into Valverde. Valverde with the shot. Excellent save from Donnarumma. But Real Madrid playing football. That is so easy on the eye. Ruiz cuts inside brilliantly. Ruiz with a shot. Deflected wide. Almost snuck in that far post. Brilliant run from Ruiz. Dedic into Bernardo 
Silva, Bernardo Silva out to Soler, Dedic again, Dedic with the shot, well blocked, Real Madrid are always there, ready to stick a toe in, Sir Demir comes away with it, and that's half time, brilliant half of football for Real Madrid, they are playing the best football that I have seen them play ever, they are just incredible, flowing so well, Messi, Ronaldo up top, working really well, Havertz linking everything up beautifully, this Champions League final looks like it's going Real Madrid's way, 1-0 to them, Messi with the goal, but they have Kylian Mbappe, which means they always have a chance of coming back, Havertz there, moving forward with Ricky, Real Madrid looking dangerous here, Havertz skipping by into Mendes. What can Mendes find? Bodies his man dead. It's great ball into the box. Valverde with the header from distance. Donnarumma picks up comfortably. That might be enough. Do PSG have time to get forward? is going to send it long. Can Mbappe win the header? No, he can. And that's going to be it. Oh my God. That's it. Real Madrid Champions League winners. On the first time of Ronaldo and Messi getting to the final, they converted. It was just a semi-final. It was a massive pump for them to get over. But eventually they did it against their Catalan rivals in Barcelona. And they have won the Champions League final. PSG lose another Champions League final in Real Madrid with Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi as teammates win it all. But there's a long way to go yet. Multiple Champions Leagues, the Ballon d'Or race. Who's going to come out with the most goals and assists? Also, we still have the World Cup this year. It's 2030, so who's going to take their nation to the top? Is it going to be Argentina with Messi and Ronaldo, or will they be beaten? Can they get two World Cups in a row? And straight away, just after their World Cup win, in fact, two weeks later, they have Norway in the World Cup, the first game. They also have Ireland, and then the final group game is going to be against France. A really strong World Cup team. They lost the final in 2020 and they will want revenge on Messi and Ronaldo. I'm hoping that they'll focus on getting revenge on Italy and then just not worry about Messi and Ronaldo because to be honest, they're going to be so good. Norway in the first game is a 3-2 win. Ireland in the second game is a 2-1 win for Argentina. Kind of gutted about that, but it doesn't really matter. Argentina will be through to the next round of the World Cup. And this is what they're doing for the Argentine team. They have Ronaldo on the bench. No, that's not happening. Ronaldo starting on the left wing. Messi can start up front. That works for me. So it's an attacking trio of Ronaldo, Messi, and Prestiani is probably the highest rated here. And it's a strong Argentine team. Now the goalkeeper isn't great but it still should be good enough to do pretty well in the World Cup. And oh my God. Okay, France group game. Here we go. Can they get a result? It's France and it's a 3-0 loss. Okay, so we know Italy won loads of games 3-0 in the last World Cup and then Argentina lost 3-0 to France. That's okay though. Spain in the World Cup. Round of 16. This is the Spanish team in 2030, if you care. A midfield pairing of Gavi and Pedri is awfully strong. Who's it going to be? France? It's going to be Spain. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so Argentina gone in the round of 16. Cristiano with the goal. Ronaldo and Messi, neither of them score. And for Spain, Ferran Torres scores in an extra time. Bravo gets the goal and that is all she wrote. That is heartbreaking. Argentina in the round of 16, despite having prime Messi and prime Ronaldo, don't do anything of value. France win 3-0 again. Of course they do. Ballon d'Or nominees are in for 2030. Ronaldo has two and Messi has none, but they're both nominated alongside Vinicius and Mbappe, but it's going to be a two horse race. It's going to be Messi versus Ronaldo. Who's going to close out the Ballon d'Or? Can Ronaldo do a trifecta of Ballon d'Ors? Yes, he can. Ronaldo wins his third. Messi hasn't won one yet, but Ronaldo's got three already starting off really well in the Ballon d'Or race Ronaldo and Messi with a combined rating of 197 ridiculous Ronaldo 30 and 4 Messi 29 and 22 ridiculous from Lionel Messi how did he do that they must be statistically really close Real Madrid top of the La Liga by nine points doing really well they did win the Super Cup as well no Champions League they got knocked out by Barcelona they get their revenge in the quarterfinals but Real Madrid do win two trophies and they may just win a third with La Liga can they close it out against Girona can Real Madrid get the win? A 1-0 draw with Girona. If they beat Betis, they do it, and they do. A 4-0 win, they will win La Liga. Second wheel spin now. Are they going to leave Real Madrid? Not on the second one. And in the prime of their careers. They did technically win a treble this year. Is it going to be enough to move away? They're still staying in Madrid. Really interesting. They've done loads of wheel spins, and they still haven't left the Spanish capital. Ballon d'Or 2031. Yes, Messi and Ronaldo are nominated. Vinicius and Kylian Mbappe. The exact same as last year. Ronaldo's got three Ballon d'Ors, and Messi has none. Messi could do with a bit of a comeback at this point, but Ronaldo might just be a little bit out of his league. Let's see. Ballon d'Or winner is Ronaldo. The man's got four. Back to back to back to back. The Argentine international now is a Ballon d'Or winner for the fourth time in a row. Ridiculous stuff from Ronaldo. But we've seen late career comebacks several times in these simulations. So do not be surprised if Ronaldo falls out of favor and Messi starts to put together a little bit of a Ballon d'Or run. Champions League animation for Messi and Ronaldo. Are they going back to the biggest game in European football? It looks like they are. In the Champions League, they have, we don't know, Juventus. Okay, they haven't played any ties yet either. Three Italian teams left. Real Madrid is the only holdout. In La Liga, they are second. Nine points off Barcelona. No Supercopa. Copa de España, they do win, so there's a trophy for that. And then there's Champions League as well. So they could 
I mean, theoretically do a treble, but I don't think they will. First leg against Juventus is a 1-0 loss to Juve. So let's watch the second leg and see if they can come back. Here we go. Real Madrid versus Juventus. Can they get through to a Champions League final? A 2-0 win. One for Ricky, one for Ronaldo. They're back in the Champions League final and they will be playing against one of the Milan teams. And it's going to be AC Milan. Okay, Real Madrid versus AC. Two of the most storied clubs in Champions League history. Maybe the two most storied clubs in Champions League history. This is the AC Milan team. They have Jude Bellingham now, ex-Real Madrid player. But we have a brilliant squad. Let's see if we can go the whole way and win it. And here we go. Ronaldo tips off to Messi. I put the controller down and we get to watch the Champions League final again. Can they win another one? Real Madrid versus AC Milan. Can he guide the Italian team to their first Champions League in a while? What a pass to Messi. And it's already 1-0. That was incredible team play from Real Madrid. Messi with a brilliant near post finish past Mike Magnan. But the best thing about this Real Madrid team is they only need one or two opportunities and they can sink you completely. Brilliant play into Lionel Messi. Can he make it two? What a save from Magnan. Messi gets the follow up somehow. I don't know how Magnan didn't hold that. And Messi makes it 2-0 for Real Madrid. Two chances for Messi, two goals for Messi. A Champions League legend showing why he is that. And Ronaldo and Messi, they're first to celebrate together. Incredible stuff. Messi kind of should have probably put away the first one. He got a chance on the second and he made no mistake. 2-0 to Real Madrid. Proof of the concept that Messi only needs two chances to score two goals. And this is the peak of club football. Ronaldo, excellent skill into Messi for a first half hat trick and he buries it in the corner. <laughs> this could get really ugly. Ronaldo assist, Lionel Messi goal. Brilliant skill from the Portuguese turned Argentine winger. They're all in the dark, but Messi has a first half hat trick against AC Milan already. Ridiculous from Lionel. And there we go. Halftime in the Champions League final. Messi with a hat-trick already. Ronaldo playing brilliantly. Don't count him out either. Messi will not have a hat-trick if Ronaldo wasn't beside him currently. They're working beautifully together as teammates. And they are 3-0 up at halftime. Bellingham going to try and spin around the corner. Doesn't quite work. Into Berger. Back to Bellingham. Great pass to Salamakers. Big chance. Big save for Stevens. Arribas now for Real Madrid. Arribas sets back O'Reilly. O'Reilly skips by his man, brilliant move. O'Reilly into Valverde, big chance, and Valverde makes it a four. Messi may have got a hat-trick, but Valverde ends this game with a fourth for the Spanish outfit, and that will be that. They will win the Champions League, but this time in a lot more convincing fashion than we've seen in previous years. Messi to Valverde, can they get one more? Can they make it five? Not quite, tackled by Gabia. The ball goes out, that will be it. Gabia keeps it alive, but it doesn't matter. Milan lose four nil in the Champions League final. Lionel Messi, and Cristiano Ronaldo as a pairing are Champions League winners. Messi with a final hat-trick. Ronaldo actually had a brilliant game quietly, might as just say, but he was incredible as well. AC Milan defeated. Real Madrid 4-0 Champions League winners. But there's still a lot more to go. Remember, Ronaldo is a four-time Ballon d'Or winner and Messi hasn't won it yet, but Messi just scored a hat-trick and won the Champions League final. So could that maybe net him a Ballon d'Or? Ballon d'Or nominees are through the door. Messi and Ronaldo should both be there and they are. Pierre Russo and Kylian Mbappe also nominated, but this is a two-horse race. Messi versus Ronaldo for the Ballon d'Or. We've seen it so many times in real life. Can we see who wins it this time? Is it going to be Messi or is Ronaldo going to get the fabled five in a row? It's going to be Ronaldo. He's got five in a row. That is ridiculous. No voter fatigue at all in the Ballon d'Or offices. Cristiano Ronaldo dominating European football with a fifth consecutive Ballon d'Or. Who's going to have better stats this season? It's going to be Ronaldo by a single assist. That's ridiculous. There's still a couple of games left, so we will check on them by the end of the year. But yeah, Ronaldo, stupidly good season. Although in La Liga, they're fifth. Still five games to go, though, so they'll do pretty well, I'm sure. Super Copa, they win. Copa de España, they win. Super Cup, they win. And they're in the Champions League semi-final again. So they've already won three trophies this year. They could get a fourth with the Champions League, and they're 1-0 up against PSG on aggregate. So let's sim to the end of the La Liga season. Against Barcelona, they get a 4-1 win. Against PSG is 2-all, so they're in the Champions League final again. They're getting wins in La Liga, a draw against Mallorca, and then Girona on the final day. It's going to be Arsenal in the Champions League final. In La Liga, they are still fifth, but they could still actually get into the Champions League places with a win against Girona. They lost, but they are in the Champions League final. Let's go to the 60th minute and see how they're getting on. And Real Madrid are 1-0 down in the Champions League final. Arsenal have to take in the lead. Arribas on the ball, breaking through this Arsenal defense. Come on, can they get a goal? It's a Messi. Chance for Messi. Messi! And you know the rest. In the Champions League final, once again, same stadium as last year, by the way. Messi delivers when Real Madrid need him the most. Him and his teammate Ronaldo are delighted and they are 1-0 drawing in the Champions League final with Arsenal. 83rd minute now, we're running out of regular time into Mendes. 
Can anyone find a winner here? Mendes cutting into the box. It's Mendes. Mendes. Ronaldo! It's Ronaldo breaking Arsenal hearts. North London is gutted. And Cristiano Ronaldo is scoring the goal to win Real Madrid the Champions League. What a moment for Cristiano. The club he's most famous for playing for. And millions of stories from his time there in real life. And in this simulation, when they call him back, when they call his name, he buries the chance. Mendes with an excellent pass and Ronaldo makes no mistake. 2-1 to Real Madrid. Arsenal have been sunk and Real Madrid will be back-to-back -back Champions League winners. Messi on the ball into Ronaldo. They're not going to get a third. Surely not. Cristiano Ronaldo into Arribas to finish the game. It's 3-1 to Real Madrid. Arribas with an excellent finish. Ronaldo with a goal and an assist. Messi with a goal of his own and Real Madrid Champions League winners again. Killing this game off. Arsenal had no chance. The second we started watching the game, Real Madrid stepped up another four gears and Arsenal have been blown away by the Spanish Giants. 3-1 to Real Madrid. But now comes the fun part. We have to spin this wheel four different times, so let's not waste any of your time. First spin of the wheel is not going to be a transfer. And if we somehow make it through all of these wheel spins and they still don't get transferred, then I don't even know what will happen. Second wheel spin is not going to be a transfer either. Spin in the wheel again. Are we going to get a transfer this time around? Oh my god, we're not going to land on the yellow bit again. It's landed there three times in a row now. Odds of that happening are 1 in 125, and we're going to spin it again. This one could be a transfer. This one could be a transfer. It's a transfer. It's a transfer. They're moving. Oh my god. Okay, the final wheel spin. So winning that Champions League was important, because if they didn't win it, they'd still be at Real Madrid. Let's see where they go. Now, if this wheel does land on Real Madrid, they will stay at Real Madrid. That's just how it works, okay? Don't question the wheel. But where are they going to end up? Are they going to move away? It looks like they are. They're going to go to Italy, and they're going to go to another of Ronaldo's ex-clubs. They're both going to Juventus, a team that they've beaten in the Champions League a couple of times now. Let's send Ronaldo and Messi to Juventus. And there we go, Ronaldo and Messi teammates once again. I actually don't know what Messi needs to do to get to 99 overall. It's ridiculous. Oh well, we'll just leave him here for another year and hope he gets better. Let's go for a year and see how they do at Juventus. We don't need to check nominees for the Ballon d'Or. Let's just go straight into it. Is it going to be Ronaldo or is it going to be Messi? It's not going to be either of them. Never mind. Maybe I should have checked the nominees. It's Clement Adam. Yeah, a real footballer is called Clement Adam and he was good enough to win the Ballon d'Or over a prime Ronaldo and a prime Lionel Messi. So Ronaldo's streak is broken. He won five Ballon d'Ors in a row and then lost to Clement and then Lionel Messi hasn't won a single one yet. So there's still time for Messi though he could still technically string together five in a row it would be difficult but i've seen stranger things happen on a football pitch let's go to the end of this year but before we do let's spin the wheel for the world cup in 2034 so they've represented so far they've got argentina and they've got italy who are they going to represent next can it be ireland who are on this wheel by the way come on who's it going to be that's going to be england isn't it oh my god okay Lino Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are going to be English. Remove them from the wheel. We won't be seeing them again. But uh, I'm going to make Ronaldo and Messi English football players. That's ridiculous. What's the situation here at Juventus? Both of our guys are now 99 overall, finally. Also, teammates with Gavi once again. Ronaldo with 36 and 9. Messi with 24 and 18. So Messi got, what, 42? Ronaldo got 45 contributions. They got a total of, what, 87 contributions between the pair of them? That's ridiculous. That should not be fair whatsoever. In the standings, though, Juventus are top of the Serie A by three points over Napoli. No Coppa Italia for them either. No Super Cup they lost in the final. But they are in the Champions League final, and it's against their old club, Real Madrid. Two all in aggregate. Can Juve close this one out? It's close in the league, and it's close in the Champions League as well. Let's see what this Real Madrid team is like without Ronaldo and Messi. They're starting La Tassa and Noel up front instead of Ronaldo and Messi. So they haven't really replaced them at all. This Juve team is technically better and maybe should win. Quick sim this. Juve versus Real Madrid and it's a 3-1 win for Real. Oh my God, Noel and Latassa both score. Made me eat my words completely. Ronaldo with a go, but it's not enough. Juve crash out in the semis of the Champions League against their old club, Real Madrid. But let's see if they can close it in the league. They got a 4-2 win over Hellas Verona. Against Udinese is a 2-1 win and now Palermo on the last day. The situation in the league is this. They are three points clear and their goal difference is through the roof. So they basically already won the Serie A. Serie at the last day, they get a 3-2 win. They get a total of 81 points and the Serie A trophy to boot. So they get one trophy for that and and that's all they win because they lost in the Super Cup final. So we'll spin the wheel. Once again, I want to reiterate, without the wheel, they just stay at the same club for their basically entire careers. And it would be kind of boring 
Are they going to get transfer? No, they're not. They're going to stay at Juventus. Okay. This is England's World Cup group. They have Ireland, Norway, and Argentina, the team that Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have just come from. Now they're England players. Let's see how they do in the World Cup. First game against the Republic of Ireland is a 2-1 win. Norway is a 2-1 win. Argentina is a 2-1 win. Okay, they just win every game 2-1. They have the United States now in the round of 16. A team that tends to overperform in these World Cups, so I wouldn't be surprised if they give them a good game. And this is the United States team at this point in history, 2034, but we don't really care about that because this is the England national team. We're going to have Ronaldo out on the left. We're going to have Saka out on the right. This team is so strong. They have enough quality. Can they get past the United States of America? Ronaldo with a brace and Saka with a goal on the 81st. A 3-0 win against their American foes. Into the quarterfinals, they will be playing against Italy. Okay, the team that Messi and Ronaldo won the World Cup with. And this is the Italian team in 2034. Fagioli, Moretti and Tonali still hold down the midfield. The defense is full of normal players as well, but the front three, Russo, Berardi, and the other guy, I didn't really remember his name. They are all new guys. Quick sim this game. Italy versus England. 3-1 win for England again. Messi, Ronaldo, and Joyce with the goal. Both goal scorers in this one are Messi and Ronaldo, and they're going to have France in the next round. Brilliant. The ultimate bogey nation for Messi and Ronaldo. They always play against Mbappe in France, and this is what the team looks like now. Mbappe is not there for whatever reason, but the team is still just completely ridiculous. In Wembley Stadium, can England make it to a World Cup final? A 2-1 loss. No, they don't. France remain their bogey team. And the World Cup semi-final, Ronaldo and Messi fall. Ronaldo scores, but Cherky and Adam, and Adam misses. I'm pretty sure that's the guy with the goofy name that won the Ballon d'Or over Messi and Ronaldo last year. They're still the third place playoff against Belgium, in which they get a loss. So they do actually finish fourth in the World Cup. Not bad, but not particularly great either. We resign from the national team and we go to the Ballon d'Or. Let's go to the voting this time and see if Ronaldo and Messi are still there. Ballon d'Or nominees are in. Ronaldo is there and Messi is there as well. Thank God. I thought something was going on for some reason. I thought maybe they wouldn't be nominated because they didn't win the one last year, but I'm not too concerned now. On to Ballon d'Or time. Can Messi finally win one or will Ronaldo win his sixth? It's Messi! It's Messi with his first Ballon d'Or of the video. Five for Ronaldo and one for Messi, but this isn't a football match. Not like 5-1 is completely crushing. He could maybe make a comeback here. Lionel Messi is finally on the board. That's wise. Who's going to have a better year? Messi won the Ballon d'Or, so him better? No. Ronaldo 25-7. and seven. Messi 17-7. and seven. Not so many goals for them this season. More spread out, I suppose. Gavi with 12 as well. Not bad for him. Not quite as statistically dominant as expected, but still very good. They are also nine points clear at the top of the Serie A, so they've basically won that title as well. No EA Sports Cup, no Coppa Italia either for Messi and Ronaldo. Champions League though, they're not there. There are two other Italian teams, Napoli and Inter, but no Juventus. They got knocked out in the round of 16 by Arsenal, ex-finalists of course, that Messi and Ronaldo beat. So Arsenal get their revenge on this Juventus team. Who's the top scorer in the league though? Did Ronaldo get top scorer or was it somebody else? Or was it Lionel Messi? Still could be. It wasn't Ronaldo, it was Sawyer for Fiorentina, then Haynes, then Ronaldo, two goals off. Lionel Messi was 14th with 14 goals. That seems appropriate. So let's cement this Serie A season and count up all the trophies. I think there's only going to be one. Hellas Verona is a draw. That's enough to win the Serie A title. Let's spin the wheel once. And despite Juventus being good in the Champions League and stuff, is it going to be enough to get Messi and Ronaldo into superstardom? They're going to stay at Juventus. So I guess we're about to find out. Ronaldo and Messi are once again nominated for the Ballon d'Or alongside two Arsenal players. It's going to be Juventus versus Arsenal for Ballon d'Or bragging rights. But really, it's between Messi and Ronaldo. Ronaldo has five and Messi has one. If Ronaldo wins one, one more, I think it'd be over for the Ballon d'Or race. Here we go. Can Ronaldo end it in the Ballon d'Or race? Yes, he can. He wins his sixth Ballon d'Or. Lionel Messi has won. There is no way Messi gets five more. Cristiano Ronaldo is going to be the winner of the Ballon d'Or race, most likely. However, there's still some years to go. There's still another World Cup to go and so much more to come as well. Heading into 2036, two years off their final World Cup. Who is going to close out their career on the highest high? Despite Ronaldo and Messi now breaking into the 30-year-old age bracket and they're now 32 and 30, We've had no regression yet. Ronaldo 25 and 8. Messi 20 and 10. So what's that? 63 goal contributions in total. Pretty good. Standings wise. In the standings, they are second. Four points behind Inter. There is still hope for Juventus to win the Serie A. They win the Super Cup. That's one spin. They're in the Coppa Italia final as well. So they could actually win a treble here. Champions League. No, they're not there. Inter is. And Juventus got knocked out by Crystal Palace on penalties. Who got knocked out by PSG on penalties. That's heartbreaking. So let's sim this out. We just want wins. I, I don't really know. It's kind of complicated what's going on right now in the league and the cup and everything so just win the games yes they win the first one and then they lose to Roma can they beat Inter no so there's no treble for them Parma on the last day is also a loss so so much for wanting wins they came second in the Serie A and they lost the Coppa Italia so they have one trophy spin for the Super Cup no pressure for Juventus here we go can they keep their superstars or are they going to move on they're going to stay again it always land in that yellow one man it's so annoying anyway Messi and Ronaldo are staying in Juventus but we better spin this wheel just to see what nation they're going to play the World Cup with it's going to be a year or two but we better find out anyway final wheel spin for the World Cup. The thing
everything is on Ireland and I want to see it happen. Can Messi and Ronaldo come and join the beautiful Ireland that we have? Or are they going to go somewhere else? They're not going to Ireland. I'm going to go to the Netherlands or Ghana. Oh my God, that's close. They're going to go to the Netherlands. Interesting. Ballon d'Or for 2036. Messi and Ronaldo are both there as well as two auto-generated players. Already one auto-generated player has won a Ballon d'Or over the top of them. Are they going to let a second one take it? Messi and Ronaldo. Ronaldo's got six Ballon d'Ors. I don't know how. Messi's got one, which is stupid. Is he going to win another? No. It's going to go to an auto-generated player. Six for Ronaldo and one for Messi. Messi really needs to pick up the slack here. Messi and Ronaldo have regressed to a 98 overall each. They're still incredible, of course. They're just not quite as good as they were. Ronaldo with 29 and 9. Messi with 35 and 10. More goals and more assists than Cristiano Ronaldo, which is just ridiculous stuff from the Argentine, now Dutch, winger. In the standings, they are top of the Serie A by 15 whole points. That's insane. Completely ridiculous. Also, they won the Esports Super Cup, so that's two trophies probably. And they are in the Champions League semi-finals against Villarreal. They beat Aston Villa and Leverkusen to get there. Seems like an easy enough run. And if they get to the final, it'll be either Man City or Bayern Munich. Very tough. Here we go. Villarreal, the first leg is going to be a 2-0 win for Juve. I'm just going to sim this out. We should be okay. Juventus should be getting to a Champions League final. No point watching. Let's sim straight through. A 4-2 win on the aggregate. And it's going to be... Who's going to be in the Champions League final? It's going to be Man City. God, that's going to be tough. Remember when Messi and Ronaldo played against Man City and they got absolutely destroyed by them? This is their chance to make up for that. Their chance to get retribution against the Man City club. Rodrigo and Erling Haaland. Their early Ballon d'Or competition. This is their chance to take them out. Jumping into tactical view. 1-all. 70th minute. This game is on the ropes. Manchester City versus Juventus. This game is so close. Rodrigo attacking down the left wing. Not many men back actually for Juventus. Rodrigo swings it in. Kone with a bitey. Oh my god. That was a ridiculous bicycle kick from Kone. Balde on the ball. Balde into Almada. Man City moving well here. Almada on the left wing. Almada holds off his man, skins him. Still going, Almada. Kone with a header. What a save by Gomez. Massive stuff to keep Juventus in this game. 85th minute. That could well have been the winner. But Gomez keeps Juve alive. The old lady keeps on walking. Marquez still on the ball. Into Almada. Could City still nick one here somehow? Great pass into Kone. Kone spins his man. Kone holding off. Into Almada with a nope. shot. Big save from Gomez again. What a stop from the Juve goalkeeper. Man City absolutely all over possession, but just can't seem to get the goal that they so desperately desire. Well cleared. And Man City might just run out of time here. Erling Haaland spins his man. Batarina left in the dust. Haaland sets back Marquez. Marquez back to Balde. Can they nick a goal here? 92nd minute. It's Almada. Lots of chance. And Almada with the goal in the 93rd minute. And Juventus lose. Just like that, Manchester City once again sink Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh my God. Man City just seem to be too good for them. They just can't handle them at all. 93rd minute, Almada with a brilliant finish. And Manchester City are going to win the Champions League this year. Juve, not enough. And they're going to blow the final whistle. Just like that, Messi passes to Ronaldo and Juventus lose. 2-1 to Man City. Juve did not have enough this time around. That is heartbreaking. Another loss to Manchester City. When are they going to finally beat them? Ballon d'Or is rolled around again. 2037, the last one before the World Cup and Ronaldo and Messi are nominated again. Alongside Clement Adam, he's back on the nominee list. Can he steal another Ballon d'Or from Messi and Ronaldo? Last time out, neither of them won the Ballon d'Or and they're getting old now. So this might be one of their last chances to win the Ballon d'Or. Can they do it? Messi and Ronaldo. Ronaldo wins another. It's seven for Ronaldo. He's actually closing in on Messi's real life record of eight. Cristiano Ronaldo seven-time Ballon d'Or winner, but in this simulation, Lionel Messi has won. And Juventus are not in the Champions League this time around, but they are top of the Serie A by four points over Roma. No good in the Super Cup, no good in the Coppa Italia, no good in the Super Cup. They're basically in nothing. They lose to Inter in the quarterfinals, but they are top of the Serie A, so that counts for something. Oh, wheel spins. We forgot to do wheel spins last year. I think they want to treble. So we'll add three wheel spins onto the end of this year, plus the title. That will be four. If they win the title, of course, they do get a 2-1 win over Inter. Salatina is a 4-1 win, and then Empoli on the last day of the season is going to be a 2-1 loss, but it doesn't really matter. They win the Serie A. Let's spin the wheel four times. And if we do get a transfer for Messi and Ronaldo, it'll probably be the final transfer of the entire video. Nothing on the first spin. Again, it lands on the yellow one, of course. First spin down, second spin. Oh, that's going to be a transfer. There we go. Messi and Ronaldo are going to leave. Where are they going now? All the rest of the wheel spins are negated. Here we go. One spin of the wheel. What club are they going to end up at? The final club 
is going to be... Going to be England. It's not going to be Man City. It's going to be Liverpool. Messi and Ronaldo are going to be Liverpool players for the remainder of their careers. Let's send them to Liverpool and end their careers there. Before we do, though, just a quick check of the stats. Messi and Ronaldo with 97 overall. 24 and 11 for Cristiano Ronaldo. 23 and 10 for Messi. Just one less goal and one less assist. Very close, but we're releasing them now. Let's send them all to Liverpool Football Club. And there we go. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo are now Liverpool players, but the World Cup is upon us. What does the Netherlands group look like? The Netherlands in this World Cup group. Poland, Qatar, and the United States. That is an easy World Cup group. They should be good to get through that. They could put together a little World Cup run here. Can Messi and Ronaldo win their second World Cup of the fourth try? Qatar in the first game is a one-all draw, which isn't great. The USA is also a one-all draw. I'm a bit dangerous. Okay, they did win against Poland. Five points is good, but leaving it to the last game like that, a little bit concerning. They came second in their group behind the USA, and now they have Argentina in the round of 16. That's tough, and this is what the team looks like. Cristiano Ronaldo is starting on the left. Out on the right is Peters, and up top, is Lionel Messi. Ronaldo's regressed a little bit more down to a 96 as well. I'll be honest, it's a decent team, but is it good enough to win a World Cup? I'm not sure. This is Janssen, which I suppose is the Van Dijk regen with 90 pace at centre-back. That is not fair, but yes, there are definitely some improvements that could have been made to this Netherlands team. It's not the best I've seen, to be completely honest, but we'll see how they do. Argentina in the round of 16. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo's old nation for the 2030 World Cup. This is what that team looks like now. Can they beat them? It's just Garnacho, Luca, and a bunch of random people. Come on. Netherlands for the World Cup. Oh, they lost on penalties. Messi missed. The only penalty of the shootout that was missed was by Lionel Messi against his country in real life and the Netherlands fall short at the World Cup at the round of 16. And that's it. Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo's World Cup careers are over but the next World Cup they will be too old and they will be too bad. They will not make the World Cup squads. They will stay on Liverpool for the rest of their careers and will they win another Ballon d'Or? Well we'll have to keep simulating and find out but for now we're going to retire from national team management and we're going to let Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi right off into the sunset. One World Cup between the pair of them is actually decent. Like, that's not bad at all. Granted, they're on the same nation. Maybe you'd expect a little bit more. But to be honest, I'll take one World Cup win. At least they did win one. But let's go to the Ballon d'Or and see if they are still some of the best European footballers that are around. Ballon d'Or nominees are through the door. Who's going to be there? Oh my God. Neither of them are there. That's going to be it. They're not going to win another Ballon d'Or from now on. They're not even nominated. It's just a bunch of random people. Ronaldo and Messi's Ballon d'Or careers are over. Quick summary. Ronaldo's got seven and Messi's got one. That's basically all I need to say. Ronaldo's Ballon d'Or career, simply stellar. The second most Ballon d'Ors of all time behind Messi in real life. Lionel Messi's got a singular Ballon d'Or, the same amount of Ballon d'Ors as Michael Owen. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to tell you about that one. Ronaldo definitely better with the Ballon d'Ors. But let's simulate the rest of this year out and see what the stats are looking like. Messi is starting in the pocket here, but Cristiano Ronaldo don't really know where he is. Here he is. He's not happy though, but he has lost a bit of uh, stamina, so he must be playing football, but he's not happy. Surely they've not benched Ronaldo in favor of Messi. They're the top two highest rated players in the team. Ronaldo's played 21 games and Messi's played 56. Ronaldo's still not doing too bad with the stats either. Messi 18 to 9, Ronaldo 10 and 5, but both of them are definitely regressing. And the standings as well. Liverpool are top of the league by three points, so they're looking good for the Prem title. No FA Cup, lost in the Carabao Cup final, but they won the Super Cup and they are in the Champions League semi final. They could do a treble of the Super Cup, the Champions League, and the Premier League. And they lose to Villarreal. Is that going to be it for them? Yes, it is. 5 4 on aggregate. Ridiculous. But they can still win the Premier League. They are way clear of Manchester. City. Okay, so they are going to be Premier League champions. But as I said, the wheel is finished. Ronaldo and Messi will end their careers here at Liverpool. Let's simulate the next couple of years really quickly and send you off into the sunset. Messi and Ronaldo still at Liverpool. Messi with 26 and 18. Ronaldo with 21 and 7. Messi seems to be ending his career a little bit better than Ronaldo. But we'll let them at it anyway. Liverpool are third in the Premier League. 13 points off the top, which is Manchester United. They did win the Community Shield and they're in the FA Cup final against Southampton, so that is good. However, for the Champions League, they're not there. Liverpool got knocked out in the group stage. They finished third. Wow, that's poor. And they are in the Europa League semi-finals against Osasuna. But they haven't won the Europa League yet, to be fair. So maybe we could maybe do a Europa League run. Got another European trophy. They did win over Osasuna. They're going to be playing against Celta Vigo in the final. They could do a treble of a community shield, an FA Cup, and a Europa League. Here we go. Quick sim at Liverpool versus Celta Vigo. 2-1 to Celta Vigo. Liverpool don't get a treble. They could get a double, though. Southampton versus Liverpool in the FA Cup final. Who's going to win it? Will it be Liverpool? Finally, they do. A 3-1 win over Southampton. Liverpool are FA Cup champions. Messi 
Ronaldo have both decreased again. Ronaldo 89 overall and Messi 89 as well. But they're both still the best players on the team. Ronaldo 26 and 13, Messi 16 and 11. So Ronaldo definitely firing back. In standings, Liverpool are sixth in the Premier League. Chelsea are top. And they did win the Community Shield again. That's back to back for them. But they won't be in it again this season. They lost in the Carabao Cup and they are not in the Champions League or the Europa League this time around. Back in now. We have to scroll down real far. Messi and Ronaldo both retiring at the end of the season. 37, 38 years old. 82 overall. Messi with 51 games despite being old. 15 and 8. Ronaldo only had 10. You got to watch out for those knees, man. You don't want to bust them. And in their final season, any silverware. Liverpool dropping further into 7th in the Premier League. No FA Cup for them or Carabao Cup either. Super Cup, no. Champions League, no. Europa League, no. And Conference League, no either. So Messi and Ronaldo are retiring. Let's have a quick reflection. From Barcelona to Real Madrid to Juventus and then to Liverpool. What a career it has been for the pair of these guys. Who had the better career and who is next? Please tell me in the comments. I read them all and I'll reply to a few as well. But other than that, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then check out this video where I re-simulated my own career, made myself one of the best football players of all time. I gave myself the potential. I hit it. But did I reach the heights of Messi and Ronaldo? Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video.